Sorry it's been so long since I made a video. I just wanted to pop on while I'm waiting for my coffee to be made. So if you hear weird noises in the background, that's my coffee maker making noise. Um, and I just wanted to leave a little video for you regarding something that I'm going through right now. And I just wanted to share a little bit of advice for anyone that might be going through the same thing. You know, I have something coming up where I have to recall a lot of things that have gone on in my past, um, past traumas, um, past victimizations that I've had to go through. <clears throat> and I've had to, I'm going to have to be speaking about um, rapes that I've endured and other abuses. And it's really been mind effing me. <laughs> um, I've been torn. I know that I have to do this in order to take the next step in my journey, but I've really been not looking forward to doing this because I have a bad habit of when I go back and have to recall certain situations, I tend to get stuck in the past. Um, I can't really talk about my past abuse without feeling like I'm being re-abused or being stuck in the past. And it's something that I've really worried about. And it's something that I know that I have to, my coffee maker is very loud, I'm sorry. Um, I know that it's something I'm gonna have to do um, coming up. And it's something I'm very fearful about. And I've been working with my counselor about it. And my first reaction is to just not do it. I don't want to go there. I spent a lot of time in my life trying to bury these feelings and these emotions, whether it was through cutting or other stuff, other ways of self-harm, um, eating, drinking, abusing pills, sex, um, you know, just burying it deep and trying to like forget it overcompensating by being over joyful and over pleasant so that no one could read the abuse on my face. I really worked hard to hone my craft at burying my trauma. And now I'm to a point where I have to face this trauma head on and recall it. And I'm so afraid that I'm going to go back to where I was and I'm going to undo all the work whether it be good work or bad work, and I'm going to get stuck, and it's scaring me, and that's really prevented me from wanting to make videos, and when I have been making videos, my phone's been deleting them, and to, on a little side note, Connor and everyone, um, when I made the videos, they completely disappeared from my phone. Like, they're not in different files or anything like that, they just totally disappeared, so I meant to get back to you guys and let you know that, but... That's a little side note. So what I really wanted to tell you was I was talking to my psychiatrist and my counselor about it. My situation that I've been talking to you guys about, about this upcoming fear I have. And my counselor came up with this um, little trick that she has for me of little cards that I can make up and bring with me to my hearing when I have it that would help me remember to stay present and not fall back into the past. And she had me give her the ideas and she wrote them down and we put them on these cards. And I wanted to share the cards with you. There are one, two, three, four, six, six cards, I can't count. And each one has a little mantra on there that I'm going to bring with me and I wanted to share with you. The first one was, she asked me, what are some steps that I could take to help me through this difficult time? So I said, use my grounding stones. Just something that you can hold on that's tangible, that helps you remember to stay present, that you're not stuck in the past. Breathe. Remember to exhale. Breathing comes naturally, but, you know, sometimes you forget to exhale. You forget to take smaller breaths. We're holding it in so much that you forget to just exhale. I'm sorry, there were only five cards, not six. I'm sorry. 
The next one is, it's okay to cry. It's okay, it's okay to cry. It's okay to show emotion. That one was important for me because I know that it's natural to cry, but I didn't want to cry and make it seem like I'm putting on a show or that I'm vulnerable because I feel like I can be re-victimized again. So I just wanted to pass that along to you that when you're recalling bad situations in your life, you don't have to be stoic about it. It's okay to cry. It's okay to show emotions about it. The next two are my favorite. This next one says, remember, you've already lived through this. You're just recalling it. You're safe now. That one is so important, and that's the one I'm going to have to drill into me like crazy. It's easier said than done. I have to remember, I'm safe now. I'm just recalling it, like reading pages from a book. It's still going to be traumatic for me, but I have to remember, I don't have to be stuck in that situation. It's really difficult when you have PTSD to have this work for you. But I'm going to try really, really hard to have it work for me. And my last one was the first one I came up with. And she told me it was brilliant. It's simple. Speak your truth. As long as you speak your truth, it doesn't matter if someone doesn't believe you. As long as you believe you. As long as you speak your truth, someone will believe you. And that someone will be you. I don't care if no one else believes me. I believe me. It's really hard because when you're an abused person, especially when you're a child, they make it so confusing for you because you're being told, if you tell this will happen, if you tell this will happen, this person won't believe you, that person won't believe you. And, you know, sometimes when you tell someone, they tell you, why didn't you tell me? And even though they have the best of intentions, to me, I always took it as they blame me too. Because I was hearing, why didn't I say something? I must have liked it. Because I didn't reach out and tell something. But I have to remember that's my child mind. And I'm all grown up. <laughs> so I thought this video was important to make because I am going through a very tough situation right now. Or I'm forced to face things that I don't want to deal with, that I want to keep buried deep. But I know in order to make progress, I have to face it head on. And I just wanted anyone out there in YouTube land to know that if you are going through something similar to this, and if you're forced to face something that you aren't comfortable with, you're not alone. I know how you're feeling. And my best advice to you is speak your truth. I'll believe you. God will believe you. You will believe you. So that's my little video for today. I'm hoping that it uploads for you. I'm going to be so upset if it doesn't. Because I'm not, I'm not going to want to redo it. It's, I'm not one to fake emotions. So I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> I hope this video finds you well, and until I talk to you all again, you take care. Bye.